see I'm in a different uh, setup. I'm getting ready to wash my hair. I'm trying to get all in frame. This is so weird how I'm standing right now. But yeah, I'm getting ready to wash this Brazilian deep wave. I've already combed through it. Um, I've had it in for maybe about Saturday will make a week. And I love it. I have minimal, um, minimal tangling. I really haven't experienced that much sh shedding. Blah. <laughs> I really haven't experienced that much shedding. But then again, I do not comb through this hair that often. I, I just put it up at night and put it down in the morning. Here it is in its natural state, and I'm still very much in love with this hair. Um, only difficulties I've been having is blending my natural hair with it. And as you can see, I have quite a bit of leave out. I have my edges out here so that when I go to work, I don't like my hair to be like in my face. So I have this little bit of leave out just to cover the braids in the front. But it doesn't end up doing much because my ends are very short. I'm actually going to try to use the, um, what is it, the Jamaican um, black castor oil. I've been hearing a lot of great things about it, people reviewing it on YouTube. So once I get it, I'll keep you guys updated on um, the growth of my edges because something needs to happen here. I'm so tired of having these short edges and it most definitely is from um, from heat damage. Um, thermal styling like right here I hate it it just really took off the front of my hair but yeah that's something I'm working on so I'm not going to keep talking to you guys to death um I hope that this setup is a little clear okay, so you guys, can kind of see the shower. I'm doing, but, um, I yeah. set up a new I'm lighting like situation because I saw it's a little bit dark in here but as you can see the curls are beautiful in this hair I love it um extremely different <laughs> From my own natural curl pattern or what's left of that um right now i'm like experiencing horrible heat damage in the front so i have like, these little straggly ends holding on and it's weighing down my curls so it's making everything look like it's pretty straight but yeah i don't plan on cutting it i'm just gonna get over it basically um so yes what you guys will be seeing is me combing the hair out first um detangling it and then I'm going to blow dry it. I don't usually blow dry this hair. I let it air dry and then I style it in the morning. But right now I'm kind of in a rush. I didn't really think that I was going to wash my hair. But it was just flaking up already. And I just felt like the hair was kind of weighed down by the products I had in it. So I needed to wash it. So um, stay tuned and you guys will get a quick um, snippet of me doing this process. It's nothing like a tutorial or anything. I just want to show you guys how I... Um, accomplish a straight look which I've never actually done before so this is gonna be a test for me as well and I really hate how the front of my hair is done but yeah I'll get over it all right you guys stay tuned
Um, okay, you guys, so I've been straightening for what seemed like an eternity. Um, yeah, again, I don't know how people with extremely long hair, like natural long hair like this, um, put up with straightening. I, my hair would always be curly if it was um, this long because straightening it, it just takes way too much effort. Um, but yeah, now I'm going to work on, turn up my contrast blending my edges which is not an easy task but i am going to go for it and when i'm finished i'll talk to you guys so yeah here we go So my computer is at 3%. Um, I just got finished my hair. It's a very long process. Um, I'm pretty sure that I am not going to be straightening this hair that often. Um, as you can see, I still need to work on this side. It's very, very hard blending my hair, especially with the shorter area um, in the front. So I'm going to wear it like this for maybe about two days. And then um, after those two days, I think I'm going to go ahead and... And um, I'm going to go ahead and play with um, my curling wand that I just purchased. So, yeah, this is it for right now. I am extremely happy about the hair. It feels so soft. Um, I love it. One thing I really hate about this hairstyle, though, is just the lumpiness. Like, I'm going to go back to the place and have her just so down certain areas that I feel like she rushed through, like these two right here. And um, the front, you know, it's nothing much I can do about that. Um, I'm pretty good at blending it. I just need to take a little bit more time than I have, being as though my computer's about to die in um, two minutes. So, yeah. This is the back of the hair. And as you can see, there's still waves. Um, I'm pretty sure if I had a better flat iron, I would have been able to do much better. But, yeah. This is all I was able to do for right now. And, um... I was actually thinking about cutting layers in here also so that the front can blend a little bit better with my hair being as though my hair ends right there. So uh, yeah, and I'm definitely going to go back and get this piece pushed down because I don't like when my leaves look like, um, make my head look like an alien. It's really annoying. But yeah, this is the end result. And I am extremely excited about it. Um, yeah, so this is how I'm going to be wearing it, and I'm getting ready to go out, and my computer's at 1%, so if you have any questions, let me know. Again, this hair is from Brazil Dazzle, and that's uh, brazildazzle.bigcartel.com. So, yeah, check her out. I'm pretty much in love with her hair, but I just want to see how the hair is going to curl back up when I do wash it again in a week. Um, as long as it took me to 
straighten it. I want to do it. I want to keep this in longer than a week, but I know me. So, um, yeah, thanks for watching, you guys. Even though this is a really choppy video, I just kind of set up in my bathroom. Yeah, um, so talk to you guys later. Bye.